Upon arrival, one piece was broken. Another piece had some sort of large white stain across it. A third piece wasn't fully stained. Now apparently have to wait a week for replacement parts. Disappointed. Edit 1, replacement parts arrived 428. Both doors and top still damaged. 11 days now since we ordered. Edit 2, more replacement parts arrived 5 fourths. Doors are okay. Top piece corners still damaged. 17 days since we ordered now. Edit 3, finally got them to overnight the top piece to us. Arrived 5 sixths. Corners damaged again. 19 days since we ordered and still no TV stand fifth time is the charm? We'll see. Review number 2. Good quality for the money. Absolutely no way for board materials and very well designed and constructed. Take your time assembling this unit as this can take up to a couple of hours to fully assemble. Nothing tricky in the install as all hardware and instructions were complete and easy to follow. They even included a bag of spare parts in the event a screw was missing or you lost one in the assembly. All hardware bags are clearly numbered, so you do not have to figure out what fastener to use from a large bag of hardware. The unit arrives in one heavy box so you will need help bringing it in the house and where you plan to install. Or like me, I just moved it far enough into the house and carried the individual parts to my living room prior to assembly. Like others have stated, it does appear that you could scratch or mar the surface with some ease, so be careful in installing your A-V equipment. The top open shelf or the middle shelves are the only ones wide enough for my older receiver and CD player. The area behind the doors is about 13 inches wide which won't accommodate any of my equipment. It does make a good location for media storage. Review number 3. When I finally got this all together, it does look really good. Appears to be real wood, which is a plus. It seems pretty solid and again, does look good. The reason for 3 stars is that some things aren't great about it. First, the pin screws or whatever they're called, seem to be very soft metal. They were stripping out putting them in using a handheld screwdriver. I did not use a power drill slash driver to put these in. Afterward I had a blister on one finger and what essentially amounts to a bruise in my palm from wrenching so hard on the screwdriver. I had to push down as hard as humanly possible to make sure these didn't strip. It should not have been this hard. Word of caution, do not use a power drill slash driver to put anything on this, except mainly the back panel. The screws will strip very easily as the wood is just pretty darn soft. I found this out when attaching the hinges. I thought these would be much easier with power. I had the chuck set to 8 or so out of 20 and the first one still stripped. Despite that it was going pretty well. Took me just over an hour to put it all together. I thought he screws that held the magnet onto the doors were too long. One door kind of separated a bit at the seams when I put it in. Luckily at the bottom and not really worth the hassle of getting a new door. Might still do it. Now, my major issue came when installing the back panels. One of the things I liked about this was the panels had the openings for all the cords so I didn't have to make these myself. And, the panels go on with screws, not just little nails that will fall out. Here came the biggest problem, just when I thought I was almost done, I realized there were no pre-drilled slash marked holes for the screws for the panel. Ugh. 
We were so close and I was afraid of the issue as other reviewers had said they had issues with pre-drilled holes being missing. So, I had to lay this down, put all the back pieces on and drill starter holes for all the screws. I tried putting the screws directly in, but with a bit of a rounded edge and the finish on parts of this, it was very difficult. On the highest shelf just under the top, the shelf cracked as the screw went in crooked due to the rounded edge slash finish, which made this difficult. There's no use in requesting a new piece as I'd have to take the whole darn thing apart to swap this out. Luckily it is in the back where it cannot be seen. After getting this all together, I really do like it. I just can't give it more stars given some issues. Maybe I'd call it 3.5 stars. I wasn't sure how I'd like the higher stand as it's almost a foot higher than what I was using, but I really like it. I partially got this so I could upgrade my TV to a larger size that wouldn't fit on my old stand. So, now I'm ready for that. Review number 4. The stand arrived one day before the scheduled arrival date and in good shape. Assembly was straightforward and with only minor issues. For example there were no pre-drilled holes for the backing boards. This was easily overcome by drilling the required holes. One suggestion concerns the door installation, the fasteners for the doors appear to be self-tapping, with very sharp points. Because of the awkwardness in attaching the doors, I inadvertently created new holes into the side wall resulting in a totally misaligned door. I recommend including regular fasteners for the doors instead of the self-tapping. I also suggest including instructions for aligning the doors since the European hinges allow adjustment. Review number 5. The stand overall is okay. It has the modern design that goes well with my decor. It was fairly easy to put together. It is typical construction with cam connector. Here are pros and cons in my opinion, pros, made out of solid woods, easy to assemble, modern design, taller than most TV stand, extra hardware, I broke 2 to 3 cams, magnetic catches for the doors. Cons, soft wood so the chem shaft sinks into the wood that make it harder for the chem to catch it, spay paint finish instead of staining, minor scratch would show the bare wood color, blemished finishes, one in the back of the leg and the other on the lower front. It looked like the manufacturer touched up with some kind of paint, when lift the stand, grab the crossbars from the side panels instead of the lips of the top. The screws connected the side panel to the top were not completely tight due to the upon arrival, one piece was broken. Another piece had some sort of large white stain across it. A third piece wasn't fully stained. Now apparently have to wait a week for replacement parts. Disappointed. Edit 1, replacement parts arrived 428. Both doors and top still damaged. 11 days now since we ordered. Edit 2, more replacement parts arrived 5 fourths. Doors are okay. Top piece corners still damaged. 17 days since we ordered now. Edit 3, finally got them to overnight the top piece to us.